Hey, Merry Christmas Redemption. I hope you guys are doing great and having a wonderful Christmas Eve. Um, I know some of you are probably around family right now. Some of you may be traveling and some of you, maybe you're just at home settling in for the night. But wherever this finds you, I mean, I'm so glad that you chose to take some time to celebrate Christmas with us. And I hope that even if in just some small way, um, this can be an encouragement to you. Um, because here's the thing, is I know that at Christmas time, um, we often sometimes get wrapped up in all of the chaos and the craziness and the stress that comes along with this um, time of year. And that can come from the shopping that we have to do, from the constant news cycle, from spending time with family that may be just a little bit crazy. Um, but this time of year, all of that stuff can kind of distract us from the real message of what Christmas is supposed to be all about. See, this season is really about peace. And it's that simple, calm, safe, just quiet peacefulness that only really Jesus can provide. And see, we need to hear that because honestly, if you look back over the last year, year and a half, I mean, our world has been filled with anything um, but peace. I mean, there has been tension and conflict and outrage over just about everything. I mean, there's been racial tension that we've had to deal with, and there's been political conflict that we can't get away from. And people are angry about everything from who won The Bachelor um, to Tom Brady winning another Super Bowl. Um, but it's been anything but peaceful. And see, really, if we're being honest, this idea of conflict and this disruption and peacefulness, it goes back way further than just the last year or really even the last decade. And this goes all the way back to Genesis chapter 3. And we read about this relationship that we were designed to have with God. We see that human beings were designed to have a perfect relationship with God. We see that got disrupted when sin entered the world. And nothing's really ever been peaceful since that moment. There's been constant conflict and constant outrage. But see, Jesus chose to do something about that. See, he chose to come and heal this gap that was set between us and God. All of the conflict, all of this stuff that we feel, I mean, it comes because of that gap that we could never close and we could never do anything about. But see, Christmas means that God did something about it for us. See, in Luke chapter 2, it says this right here. It says that, uh, but the angel reassured them, don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all the people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. See, the truth is, it's that there's no peace on earth because there's no peace with God until Jesus came to do something about it. And that's Christmas, that God in the flesh, the Messiah, the Lord of everything, um, came to be among that. And that means that if we have a perfect relationship with him, there's no reason to be fearful. There's no reason to be um, afraid. There's no reason not to be at peace because we've got a God that cares deeply for us. And the words of one of my favorite Christmas songs, and we all know, it means this. It's hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. I mean, this Christmas, I hope that you have peace in the midst of whatever it is that you're going through because God and you are reconciled. Merry Christmas, church.
We thought you come with a crown of gold, a string of pearls, and a cashmere robe. We thought you clinch an iron fist and rain like fire on the politics. But without a sword, no armor guard, but common boy in a mother's arms, the government. Now rest upon the shoulders of this baby son. Have you no room inside your heart? The in is full, the out is dark. Upon profane. Shine sacred sun, not a shame to be one of us, but without a sword, no armor guard, but common bull in a mother's arms, the government now rest upon. Christ the Lord, we long for you. Gloria, hallelujah. Christ the Lord, we long for you. Common boy in a mother's arms, the government now rests upon the shoulders of this baby son. Joyful and triumphant, O oh, come ye, O oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the Oh, come. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, tonight's uh, worship as we've got together in our homes and with our friends and our families to just celebrate the true meaning of Christmas on this Christmas Eve. It's a special day. It's a special time. And I am so thankful that we set aside a time each year in our calendar to really think about what it means that God would come to earth, uh, to come to be with us, to come to live in us, to come to save us all from Satan's power, as the, as the song says. And we're really, really just, we take it for granted so often what that means. And so hope you've enjoyed this time. Hope it's been a special time. And we just want to take a moment uh, to wish you and your families a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we can't wait to see what God's got in store as we continue to spread His light in the year to come.